Hi, this is Suze Leventero. I'm going to do a quick uh, Taurus Moon Lunar Eclipse reading and see what that might bring us. Okay, now today when I was doing, I did Aries, Taurus, uh, Gemini, and Cancer, and I think I only uploaded Aries. Okay, and that was time sensitive uh, because it was about... Um, <laughs> <laughs> lottery numbers came up so okay so I had to just do that one by itself okay anyway so all right so let's see the golden children inner child tenderness innocence and rare gifts Ooh, that came up in some other reading when I was using the Celtic um, Lenormand deck. Okay, inner child. And I think that had to do with uh, hmm. It was someone who was trying to balance out their energy. It could have been any sign, but um, that's what I got. It was like a friend of a Virgo's. Okay. Alright, so I think it was in the Virgo reading. Okay, so anyway. Earth School, Life Lessons, Soul Growth, Study, and Higher Learning. Okay. All right, so loosen your grip. Coping Mechanisms, Density, and Addiction. Let God in. Okay. Yeah, that's like uh, control issues and... Uh, all right, We the Hathors, Deep Love, Mother's Milk, and Birth as a Portal. Ooh, today there was a, a stork in the Aries reading. Okay, so birthing new things. Okay, deep love, mother's milk, and birth as a portal. And what is this last one? Fall into my arms. Ooh, surrender. Holding the opposites and extremes of life. Okay, you know what I got was... Okay, there was a song that came out in one of the readings, and it was that um, Jewel, and it was that intuition song. Okay, now something in, follow your intuition. And the feeling that I got from that was that if you have been in your mind a lot, right, this Taurus moon was going to bring in that emotional aspect. It was like following your gut instincts and... Uh, it's like moving in more secure, steady energy, okay, and moving out of the mind. All right, and feeling more secure. It's like, it was like a dancing with emotions to get to a more stable, secure feeling within the own energy. That's what it felt like, okay. So... Yeah, so see, it's like you have to remember, right, that inner child, that innocence, that purity. That was coming up a lot in the readings, too, that that pure energy is within each being, right, like a star. And then here it looks like plunging from Aries or something, plunging from a planet into Earth school. Okay. Wow, just the other day I did a reading, something that was like uh, a feeling that men were from Mars and women from, or from Venus or something like that. Two different planets. Okay, now anyway, let's get back to this. I feel like there's like, um, for some of you, it might have been like control issues. It might have been obsessive energy, um, learning how to manage emotions and cope in a more healthy way. Um And then a lot of cards were getting like this mother or ancestors uh, in their readings. Okay, so, and here's mother's milk, right? Feeling nurtured within your own energy and feeling comfortable and at home in your emotions, like being hugged from the universe from within, right? Surrendering, holding the opposites. So that could be duality, and that could come up because... Um, and that happened before in elections, right? Just like this push pull and just a will over uh, will over everything. Okay. 
And uh, sometimes that is the chaos, right? The will, a human will. Okay, so this is like trusting that inner world more, surrendering, like not... Uh, it, also, it's like a neutral, it could be in, going into neutral place instead of polarity or duality. Ooh, I like that. That's improvement. Okay, let's see what's on the bottom. Oh, feeling of connectedness. Whereas before, you may have felt isolated, right? Uh, and not maybe even connecting on a physical level, okay? And this is community, feeling supported. Woo, you got the love. Okay, now, there was a Taurus reading that I did. It was like, no, that was a Cancer, okay. And it was like a rebound relationship, and it was kind of felt a little codependent there, but uh, I won't label it. But uh, this is like... Um, using that wisdom to create a new pattern instead of repeating the same cycles okay so we're moving out of that looks like Ooh, trust in the timing yeah it's like understanding that there is this divine timing to things right trust the wave you came on there was a card that looked like a wave today and i was like that's like surfing time is not running out and there are a couple of signs that age came up in a couple of readings. It was like Gemini, uh, maybe Scorpio, or was that Libra? Anyway, it came up in several, a uh, couple, of, but I feel like the most recent one, that subject was in Gemini's reading. Okay. All right, now here is... Letting go, trusting spirit, and letting spirit handle that burden, the heaviness, the stuff, right? Setting new boundaries, letting go. It's not yours to carry. Okay, so if if you feel like you've gotten into, uh, oh my goodness, I just took a picture of a star and it looked just like this. I posted it. Starkeeper, cosmic ancestor, seed, seed the light by staying grounded. Oh, wow. And I was, I was just saying that it looked, that star that I took a picture of looked so happy. Okay, so feeling grounded, right? This Taurian energy. Okay, and, and there were a bunch of seeds, that t like today there are a bunch of messages about planting those seeds, even if you can't see the fruits in the physical reality and keep taking action steps. Cosmic ancestors, oh my goodness. Okay, cracked open, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life, okay. So sometimes um, when you do that dive, right, you have to raise your energy back, and that's the alchemy. There's like a timing to it, and if you stay too long, <laughs> it could, for me, it af like affected my sinuses. Okay, so uh, there's consequences sometimes if you stay too long, I feel like. Okay, so. At any rate, okay, you're not for everyone. Yeah, okay, so I, like for me, I'm forever changing, right? And I go with what my gut instinct is. And it may not be the most popular thing in the world, but um, I have to follow it. And that's like, uh, or move with the energy that is, pulsating with me okay so embrace your weirdness face your true north oh okay so what i feel like there is a north node in taurus right and i feel like that's the guidance so if you had any kind of saturn like uh 
karmic entanglements, I feel like that's going to get balanced out. Let's see. Loyal, safety, and trust. Okay. Yeah, see, this is where I felt like this was the problem. Uh, micromanaging uh, stuff. And it's just like in the surrender, people don't surrender because they think they're not going to get what they want. And they push against. And then the outcome is not as high as it, it, it would have been. All right, so there's that. Ooh, yeah, deep cellular healing. I feel like that's the message. Now, today I was watching this thing, and of course I was there. Uh, but deep cellular healing happens in full alignment. So... This is physical and emotional healing, and I feel like this moon may bring up some things, but that's where it's headed, and I like it. Ooh, severing, right? Severing Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. Ooh, that's what was coming out. It was like Mars and Venus, and it was like softening up. Okay. It's all about surrender, it looks like. Surrender to the sweetness. Venus energy. Oh, my gosh. Venus energy. Pleasure, joy, make love to life. And that's the feeling it was. This came out, too, for Aries. Baby steps. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. That's the intuition song. And that came up, I think, was that Cancer. I'm going to have to post those, but, um, wow, this is all coming together on this thing here. Okay. Now here is the void. That's, this is this, like the zero stop embracing winter. Great cosmic wound. It's like being hugged. Yeah. By the universe. Okay. And then, so there may be like this winter, winter period. And then the solution inner earth you'll survive this new solutions and beginnings and that's kind of like what the message has been this week okay i want to say all right and water your garden nourishment body care tenderness rest that's what i did today i spent like an hour at the health food store <laughs> okay all right, so here's double mission, right? Light worker, star seed, serve the world by being you. And um, I do that. And I feel like whoever comes here, this message is for you too. Okay, like people may not understand your energy and they may never be able to wrap their head around it. But, um, okay. Cosmic heart, devotion. There's a lot here about timing. Devotion, potency. Make your uh, life a moving prayer. Ooh, I like that. I want to leave it there. Oh, wait. Nope. This was on the next card. I'm going to take it. Whale and Orca elders. Share the song. Frequency of sound. Diving deep. Ooh, the bottom is this beautiful peony. Look, the courageous peony, multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. Okay, so whereas some of you, oh, that was, this was coming up as the cave in some readings. And then this is what emerges. Ooh, okay. So that could symbolize like the eclipse, right? Okay, like if this was the eclipse, right? Okay, so let's say there's the, okay, so yeah, it's like if there, there was the moon and it was eclipsing, right? No, it would go this way. 
And then what emerges is this. I love it. It's beautiful. This was nice. All right, so let's get um, one of these. Oh, keep the faith. Okay, so even in emotions and uh, just flowing with them, right? Instead of trying to control it with your mind, just flowing it from the heart space. Like you are the universal sacred flower. Woo! And receive your blessings. In that surrender space, that's where you can let the, the abundance just flow. The vortex, right? Woo! Dream wide awake. There's a lotus here. Guidance is golden. Yeah. And no matter what religion or what books or this and that, I mean, going in and kind of listening to that subtle energy, that's where uh, your impulses are and what you're meant to do. This has been the Taurus Moon Lunar Eclipse Reading. Thank you.